Ciao everyone, greetings from Venice, Italy. We are so glad to have you back for another city walk. In this video, we're going to show you the sublime city of Venice and its surrounding islands. And also, we'll share some tips about traveling during COVID. Right now, we're taking a boat from the airport to Lido Island, which is on the south side of Venice. And later on, we'll tell you exactly why we chose to stay at Lido. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel because there will be more city walk videos coming from Italy. Alright everyone, so this is our room. Pretty decent for the price point and the location is excellent. And as you can see, we've already started making a mess. But yeah, we are settling in. We're gonna stay here for a few days enjoy the island and then head over to venice the city center someone is over there <laughs> hiding <laughs> it is actually pretty petite and small but it has ample storage like these cupboards and drawers so so we are gonna go to the beach now and explore the island Lido. This is actually more south of Venice. Mm. Like the south east side, not a lot of people know about this island, but it's actually a really nice place to stay at. Uh, they say that all the celebrities stay here when they come for the Venice Film Festival. So that's pretty cool. We're glad to be a little isolated than the madness of the city center and we can easily take a boat and go there whenever we want. And now we're gonna go to the beach. So we are in our beach clothes. I'm wearing a dress. Dubai is also in his trunk. Venice with its winding canals, the tiny labyrinth streets, regal gondolas, gothic architecture has long captivated travelers as a beautiful place that is full of stories. This hot dog, what is the degree? It's pretty hot. God knows, but uh, about 30 easily. So guys, we're gonna take you along with us. We're just gonna explore the city. Venice is of course one of the oldest and historical cities in the world. It is home to many great architectural designs. People from everywhere come to experience this magnificent city and witness its offerings. Although the COVID restrictions and decreased travel, we still saw long waiting lines for most of the touristic attractions. Venice is a collection of 118 islands connected by footbridges. This city has no cars. Can you believe that? Now we are in the largest church in Venice, Basilica di Santa Maria Gloriosa di Ferrari which has retained its stunning Venetian Gothic architectural design.
Hi everyone. So we are just roaming around and once I heard someone said it's a nice thing to get lost in Venice and that's exactly what has happened to us thanks to me. These are the small canals. Venice has a lot of them. Tiny tiny bridges that make you go from one side to the other. Small island called Murano in Venice. Murano Burano. Famous for making Murano glass. Venetian glass. You guys probably heard about it. Venice is cool, the city being historical, old and in the water, so everything is cool, but I like the island the most, Lido Island. And not a lot of people know about it, and it is a tourist free almost. I also recommend that if you ever plan to come to Venice, consider uh, staying at Lido. The prices are definitely cheaper there. Not bad, yeah, and you gotta take to go around but they are also pretty much like findable at any time of the day. I actually prefer that because in Venice as you saw there are not a lot of like there are not any actually cars or taxis like that it's just ferries and boats and water stuff so if you have your hotel in Venice there's only a certain amount of way the ferry can take you and then in a hidden street somewhere you'll have to carry all your luggage and walk and like go to your hotel like that no Dra coming. drag your luggage around like that so these are the canals of Murano Plissima it actually depends on you entirely if you are totally art, culture and like that sort of fanatic museums. Two days are not enough for Venice because you would probably want to see all those architecture, museum, gothic stuff and there's so much of it. The whole city is a museum. So I would recommend for people like you guys maybe like five days or something like that. Mm. But if you are like us that you want to experience it also see a little bit but not like see each and everything and give yourself time then I think two days is good two or three days is good for Venice but yeah definitely come here baby fish he can answer my answer Do you guys see the baby fish no the Continue. Just saying, man. Two days is enough, you said. But it's you should short. definitely come and experience Venice. It's just thousands oh, of islands. Oh, look, birds. It's this cash time. Yeah, so like I was saying for the fourth time, there's no other place like Venice and you must experience it yourself because Venice is a collection of hundreds of islands, small small islands together and they've built a city around those islands and the way they operate is something really different and interesting to experience. I cannot imagine living here in Venice. I don't know how I would take a taxi to work or school or like a ambulance to the hospital. Everything is like on the water. Yeah.